Hello there. Today's video is on CSS. Uh, I've already got somewhere here. There we are. There's my document and there's the blank web page. Let's go ahead and start working on it uh, by putting in some text. We'll put in a paragraph and that paragraph will be, well, that paragraph will be whatever I say it will be. Close that. Uh, we're going to put a uh, span in here. Because today's video is going to be about background color. So I'm going to use uh, CSS up here in the head. So here's the page. Oh, I didn't save it. There we go. And the idea is I'm going to do a uh, body curly braces background color of uh, let's see we'll make it all red and nothing else there we go now this doesn't have to be just for um, for the page I know it's called background color but you can do it on specific tags as well so we'll do a background Oh, color of, uh, we'll go for green this time, all green, save that, put it on the text, and we'll go for the span as well. And the span will be uh, and we'll save that, refresh, and it'll be blue. So uh, remember the first two colors, this deck decides how uh, red it is, this decides how much green and how much blue, and you can actually mix colors. To, uh, make different things so you'll really need to experiment with this the the one website that I would recommend is uh, colorlovers.com it's a great website for uh, colors and uh, patterns I use it a lot because I'm colorblind uh, and I'm really nervous about colors but uh, know that the first two digits represent the amount of red next two digits the amount of green and the third set of third pair represents the amount of blue so if I do save that that'll be black and if I do full on and this is hexadecimal which means that it runs from the uh, the number 00 to FF hexadecimal stands for 16 characters uh, which means a base 16 counting system and that's how you apply a background color to whatever you want. You can actually do it by ID as well. It doesn't just have to be, say, oh, cancel that. It doesn't just have to be uh, tags. So we'll do an ID equals span. Oh, save that. And refresh it again. Oh, I didn't do an equals. Save it and refresh it. There we go. So you can do background colors on just about anything. It doesn't just actually mean the background of the page. Uh, hopefully you'll get to use this in the future. And uh, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the experience of this tutorial, why not share it with your friends?